can you put the small screws at the bottom and the top. Small screws at the bottom. Large screws at the top. So this is the Gautier fishing pole holder. It's got 12 on each side. They're adjustable. You can take them out real easy. Just like that. They're diagonal. They fit in there sideways. And lock. Pretty secure. Two screws down here. They're easy, it's easy to put together, no tools at all. The bolt head slides inside the groove down. You line up the two holes, you tighten the nut up. Easy. The bottom is adjustable, both sides you can do different sizes. Uh, the tops are adjustable. You can adjust these two. These caps just pop up, pop on. Again, this goes up and down. It's pretty nice, and it's very light and very small. I thought it was going to be too big for me, uh, for the small space I have. But, I think it'll work. I'll show you it all lined up with the uh, rods tomorrow. This is the Gautier fishing rack. I've got all my rods and reels on it. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. Uh, some of the tackle that I use. This is my main tackle box. <clears throat> Plano. Some of the reels that are not on the rods. My bass, bass box, my saltwater box, my nymph box, my dry fly box, streamers, bugs. But here's the rod. I'll stand next to it in a minute here and so you can uh, get roughly an idea of its dimensions. It's a lot smaller than the uh, average rack, but it holds up to 24 rods. Assembles with no tools. It's very, very light, very compact. I would say it's about, just looking at it, 15, 17 inches by about 24 inches. Um, stands. Well, that's a size 11. All the dimensions will be down below with a link and also a discount code. Some of my saltwater rods, surf rods, did not fit in here. Um, one of them, two of them, didn't fit in here. Otherwise everything you fit, including the Tinkara rod. These are fully adjustable. You loosen this up. These can slide up or down. This is the lowest point. Obviously that's the highest point. But these uh, rod butt seats are also adjustable. You can lift this all the way up to here if you want. Why you'd want to do that I don't know, but anywhere in between. So what do I have on here? I have a Gautur Tenkara rod. I have a really nice Gautur Exceed. I have just got this. I'm going to take this out in the surf later today. Just pushes in like that. I have a penfishingrods.com. I have the, and not a lot of you can say this, I don't know anybody else can say this. This is the penfishingrods.com. It is the Faro Rod, named after my channel, after my YouTube channel. Pretty cool. Collapses down to about 10 inches, I'd say. Holds a regular size reel, regular base reel.
I have my daughter's fly rod. I have, uh, this is an Allegra collapsible rod. Really nice reel. Then we get into the vintage. I have a split bamboo fly rod. I have a, um, this one's made by a guy in Costa Mesa in the 70s, I believe. It's a fiberglass rod, fly rod. This is, uh, the reel was given to me by a subscriber when he saw that I bought this rod off of eBay. It's a split bamboo conventional bass rod. I've caught one fish on it so far, really small, and it got off before I actually touched it. So, it, actually, I've never landed a fish on this, but I want to. It reminds me of Eagle Eye Annie from Andy Griffin. Andy Griffith Show. I have my elk corn uh, fly rod, five piece, with a click and prawl reel. I have my daughter's uh, micro light uh, spin caster. I have another one that reminds me of one that Opie used to use. And also, uh, the same reel that my dad got me. Not this one, but we one just like it. When I was five years old and learned to fish. Similar pole, same reel. Over here, I have one of my prized freshwater rods. It's a LaCroix with a static let's C14 Plus Shimano reel, super light reel. Four piece, I believe. Four piece backpacking rod. Got two pound line on that. This one was given to me by the Shimano field testing team in 1985 or 86 at Davies Locker. I was on the half day boat. The girl I was fishing, the girl I brought with me, my girlfriend at the time, didn't check the uh, crank, the uh, handle bolt on the other side. When she casted, the whole thing flew in. So we were paying for a $65 boat ride at the day time. And I noticed these Shimano guys all wearing Shimano shirts, and they had a bunch of rods. Like, Can we borrow one of your rods? He goes, yeah, try this one out. Japanese guys, barely knew any English. And uh, maybe Chinese, I'm not sure. But um, with the rod, with the reel, and let me try it out all day. We caught all fish on it, caught a bunch of fish on it. Then he goes, how'd you like the rod? I said, it was awesome. He goes, keep it. There's only one of those. That's a field testing rod. They came out with this blank later on. And the bait caster, I was one of the first ones to have one of these before they were commercially made. And uh, this is a long time rod of mine. Oh no, this, I'm sorry. This is a, let me check it out. One, two, three, four, five. This is a seven piece rod, backpacking rod. Collapses down very small. A subscriber of mine gave it to me and it can be used Oh, the first eye is uh, for spinning. Second eye is for spinning. All the rest are like fly rods. So it can be used with a fly rod or a spinning rod. It's great for backpacking. This is another collapsible rod. I forget the name of this one. Oh, there it is. High altitude. I use this off the rocks and the jetties. It's great. Another Shimano. This is my cat fishing rod. Two piece. Stemula. I use that with, with the top reel. Another Shimano rod. This is my trout rod, bluegill rod. Um, Carbomax. I use that with the center reel this is my prized saltwater reel and rod this is a this is Excalibur 
This is a uh, look at that blue how it in the sun. It's awesome rod. This is a Sage RPLXI. Eight weight with a able eight weight intermediate line backing. This thing has brought in some serious fish. This is a pinfishingrods.com backpacker model, spinning. In one day on this, one day, I caught 101 trout up in the Sierras. It's caught thousands of fish. I won a tournament, a little mini fishing tournament that day. Catch and release. This is a pinfishingrods.com backpacker model also using the conventional reel. Biggest bass I've caught on this so far is about two and a half pounds. Not big, but it felt big on this little rod. It's great. I'll put this back in there in a minute. Pinfishingrods.com uh, Goliath. Out of all the pinfishingrods.com, this is the one I've caught the most fish on. One of the ones I've had the longest, also. With the back drag, rear drag, two pound line, great rod. This is one of my salt, my freshwater uh, high end fly reels. This is a three piece Winston. Uh, two weight rod and a Galvin outside uh, reel. A, a large arbor reel, Kelvin. Obi Wan, that's what it's called. Obi Wan, not Kenobi, but Obi Wan. And this is a rod. My daughter won this when she was seven years old in a fishing tournament at Laguna Lake for catfish. It was given by uh, a fishing tackle store, I, I can't think of the name of it right now, off Imperial and Randolph in Brea. It's where I go all the time, and I, I'm drawing a blank. Their name will be going across the screen. But they put on, those are great guys. If you're local, give them your business. They have good prices, but they really do for the community. They put on these fishing tournaments. They gave all these prizes. This is a great run. Designed by Daya with Shock. Came with the reel. She won this when she was seven years old. Still fishing it to this day. She's 19 now. She'll be 20 next month. Anyway, so this is the rod case, the rod rack. I know I got off the subject, but I know a lot of you are curious. So you can see the size of the rack. So one more look at it. All kinds of odds and ends down here. Multi-tools. Little pocket held tackle boxes I can just take off. Stash this stuff and just take off, go up river. Um, hooks, two pole holders in there. Got jigs. Lots of trout jigs. Jigs, jigs, jigs. Jigs, uh, you can tell what my favorite lure are. Daredevils here and uh, somewhere else. Daredevils up here. Then I have multiple tackle boxes for my fishing, for my backpacking that are odds and ends here and there. Fishingrods.com lures, jigs and spinners, uh, top waters, bobbers, carp bobbers, vintage uh, rocky. Rocky Juniors, Rooster Tails, Phoebes, Hopkins, Crocodiles, Apollas, Headens, you name it, tune here. Jointed. Um, oh.
lot of Clousers, uh, DUIs, sand crabs. Bluegill bugs, nymphs, streamers, poppers. Bigger nymphs for rivers. Streamers, terrestrials, dry flies. Bass, my bass box. Poppers, bugs, worms, woolly boogers, crawdads. So Kuma goes with that seven piece. These go with the Shimano. Shimanos, these two. You're looking at, well, since 1970, I've lost a few rods. In 1981, 82, 81, 1981, I was hit by a car and I lost two fly rods, one bass rod, one Ken Core SP3, one Ken Core SP4 that were bungee cord to my bike. I lost all those and all my tackles. So I started over at 16. So this is from 16 up. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a lure in here that I cut my first trout on in 1981. There it is. Still have it, still fish it. First trout on a lure was on this right here. Not one like it, but this rooster tail. Miller Canyon. The hook's been changed twice. Miller Canyon, Silver Lake. 1981. First trout on a lure. Yee hee! Oh. Uh, Bob Marriott's fishing tackle. Bob Marriott's fishing tackle. Bob Marriott's fishing tackle. Let's see. Bass Pro. All these other various places. But I'm looking for one here. Where is it? Where is my Winston? There it is. This is from Feathercraft. Feathercraft is a great company. Two guys own it. Back east somewhere. Feathercraft.com. Feathercraftfishing.com. Got this Winston and this uh, Obi Wan for $150 or $160 off the going price of the combo. Great deal. And they gave me the backing and strung it up for free. I paid for the line. Backing, string it up for free. Line and $150 cheaper. Guaranteed lifetime. Penfishingrods.com, a great guarantee too. Guaranteed lifetime. I caught a Harbor Patrol boat on this. I was using floating line and went too close to my raft, my boat, and uh, it was in a Zodiac. And it caught my line on the props and took off and snapped my RP LXI. Snapped the second rod, the second section. So I sent the second section in. They replaced it. They made another one, matching serial number. Guaranteed for lifetime. Guaranteed for lifetime. Let's see. I think those are the only two I have that are guaranteed lifetime. Guaranteed 12 months, 12 months, 12 months. No guarantee at all, split bamboo, extra rod tip. But that's fishing. That's fishing in the big city. <laughs> yeah, you get hooked more than fish. But it's an excellent, excellent rod rack. Look at that. I'm going to pull everything off and I'll show you the rod rack by itself. Here's the rack without the rods. 12 and 12. Take these out. Range them however you want. But I was able to fit 24 rods on there. Uh, there's the, for the rod butt. Loosen these up. Slide this up and down before you put these in, as I showed you in the assembly video. You drop these large screws in two here, two there, two there, two there, four, one, two, four, six, eight of them.
drop them down, you put these plugs in, lock these in, you drop one, 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 one of the shorter ones, comes with instructions, you just screw them on. Fully adjustable, fully adjustable. Cap it with these Gautier caps. Really super light, super small, compact. There's no way you're gonna find another rod rack that holds 24 rods in such a compact area. It's an awesome, awesome setup right here. Anyway, all the links in detail, and there is a code for, I believe it's going to be uh, a percentage off. The percentage I don't know right now, but in the details down below, use that link with that code, and you'll get this at a great price. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your tour. Who also gave me the car rod, the exceed rod, and the surf rod, which are all great rods. I believe they've been here since 2000. 12 they're all great rods anyway thanks for watching